Kamusta mga kaibigan? On today's video, we are going to explore Intramuros. And we are back with Mr. John. He's uh, joining me again today on this very special day. Intramuros. We are in Intramuros. Intramuros. And to those of you that didn't know, this is a very historical place in the Philippines during Spanish era. A lot of events happened here during World War II. This one, it's a jail before. It's a jail before. Back on Spanish, Spanish Who was era. Who was inside? It's not made of that. Spaniards or Filipinos? Spaniards, yeah. For real? They used in World War II. World War II? Looks pretty clean. Which is kind of weird. Can't go in. We we'll go to the jail. It's a bullet, man. What is that? It's a bullet. Oh, there's a bullet hole. Yeah. Bullet hole. That's insane. That's the entrance for the prison. Entrance for the prison. Inside. I don't know if you guys can see. Fucking hot. So apparently this is a base before. It's a base camp during World War II. But now on today's time, there is a university right across from it called Letran. Let me pronounce it correctly. It's Letran. And if you keep going down the road for about 5 to 10 minutes, you'll see the other university called Lyceum of the Philippines. And right in front of it, there's a lot of stores where you can buy snacks. So John and I decided to sit down and get some boba, bubble tea. I love Intramuros, man. She gets pizza. Right after that, John and I continued our adventure. We stumbled upon these people who's doing some kind of training as well as the Bayleaf Hotel which we're gonna go back to later on this video. We kept walking down the road and we saw these cool looking graffitis as well as some kids playing in the street. It reminded me of the days when I used to do that. Pokemon? <laughs> we also saw this massive door that leads to another world However, unfortunately, it was locked. We actually got in. Just stay on this side. Oh, there's a web. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how deep that. I am going to be completely honest, I don't really know exactly where is this in Intramuros. As you guys know, John and I were just walking around, exploring around, and we stumbled upon this street right here. There's a bunch of restaurants and stores, and we also found this very old house, which we are about to enter. I don't know if you guys felt it too, but this house is giving me some different kind of vibes. Maybe because it's too old, maybe there's some different types of entities inside. This house was probably built around 1600 because the Spanish colonial period in, in Intramuros is from 1571 until 1865. John and I found this very interesting room where you and your buddy could do some business together. 
What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Up next, we went to San Agustin Church. This is considered as the oldest church in the Philippines. You know what? Let me just show you what it looks like inside. This church was built and completed at the year of 1607, more than 400 years ago. And fun fact, a lot of people actually go here to get married. So men out there who's watching this, if you have a woman who loves you, you must give her a ring and then check out this place. This church is a must-see whenever you're in Intramuros, or Manila in general. Now, John and I continued our exploration. We continued roaming the streets, and we saw a bunch of different things. But our next stop is... What we got here. Ornamento, por favor. Yes, sir. Gracias por todo. Yes. No problemo. We're getting some for betters, right? This, what flavor is that? Manga. Manga. Avocado. Ooh, avocado? I love avocado. How many scoops? 200, 200 scoops? <laughs> 200 scoops. <laughs> That's a lot. Masarap. Masarap. So we're gonna eat some ice cream with a view right here. That ice cream was very simple, however, it was really good. Why is that, you may ask? It's because it's really hot in the Philippines. Every day is ranging from 25 to 40 degrees Celsius. So whenever you visit, you better prepare for that. Yes, sir, we're about to check out what's inside. They didn't let, let us in. They said we are two dappers. I don't know, man. What do you want to do now? The original wall, but before, there's a wall. Because it's not like that. Oh. When the fans came, they rebuilt the wall to protect the wall. Intramuros means inside the wall. Inside the wall. Oh. And under the wall, of course, that is extra Oh. That's amazing. How do you like Intramuros, bro? Loving it, bro. There's so much history. It's our first time. Oh, let me start with you. you say there's a lot of what? Dead bodies. Dead bodies. Dead bodies. How many? More than 100,000. 100,000. Oh, yeah, because there's a war here. World War II, right? World War II. And the white building, the right side, San Manila Hotel. San Manila Hotel. Manila Hotel. The oldest hotel in Manila, 1912. 1912. Uh, General Douglas MacArthur stay here. Woo. For how long? Was, uh, 1945. 1945. After, after uh, World War II. Huh? President. He's a 29 years old, become the president. Damn, your age, But before, it's a no election. Only the appoint for the American. Only one the... President for That's 21 years? right here. 1965 until 1986. Top G. And see, look, the path... You ready to see the sun? Let's go. Sunset. I don't know if you guys realized it yet, but I do love watching sunsets. Any place I go to, it's one of the things that I look for. So if you know any places out here in Manila that is a good place to watch the sunset, or actually anywhere in the world, let me know in the comments and I would like to check that place out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, Leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe!